Hey you guys, PGD here. Hope you're all doing well. Long time no see. I just want this to be a very quick kind of hello, welcome back to the channel, thanks for sticking around kind of video. So I'm just going to do a few products here, but I know there are some videos that I have in the queue that will be coming out soon. But I was asked, there was a time I came on this vlog and I mentioned something like, oh, I'm never going to purchase a beauty blender sponge again. Not that I don't like the beauty blender, love the beauty blender. But I found another sponge that was cheaper and that I thought was worked just as well. I'm here to talk to you about that today as well as one, maybe two other products. Okay, so back in the month of, I'll put it here, it was probably May, I went to the makeup show this year. Um, so anyway, I walked in there and my intention was to purchase a beauty blender that I would need, you know, some backup beauty blenders because these things don't last forever. So I went in there and I went to like the first counter that had them and I think they were selling it $19.95 for two. Now typically I think it's like $19.95 for one. So that was a bargain, but because I was at the makeup show, I figured some other table, maybe, you know, some beauty store or something would have it at an even better price or better deal. So I decided to just search around instead of buying it there. Before I actually found it at another table, I ran into Kimberly Joy here on YouTube. That was like such a joy because, oh yeah, no pun intended, because she, I feel like she knew more about some of the products at some of those tables than the reps that worked for those companies. She's so knowledgeable, so sweet. Thank you so much for allowing me to remain tethered to you through the duration of my time at that show. But anyway, she told me because I, I was telling her that I was picking, uh, I was going to pick up a beauty blender and she said, oh these sponges that I love are here and she happened to have had one in her bag not a new one one that she had used because these two like the beauty blenders are reusable so anyway we found them at a table there are these let me get you a package that's new just so you can see what it looks like Alcone let me get closer professional makeup sponge okay and it looks very much now when I first looked at this I was saying, wow, this looks very much like the sponges that you can get from, you know, Target or wherever else. And speaking of it, I got it because I, I had to do my own, and this was recently, I had to do my own kind of test to figure out, you know, how similar or, or dissimilar these products are, right? So anyway, picked up the Alcone sponge because, and I got more than one package. Uh, they were selling them at the makeup show at a reduced price of $2, the regular price for eight sponges. Hold on to your seats. $2.50. So this is not something that's going to break your bank. Compare it to the Beauty Blender one sponge for $19.95. Okay, so stick with me here. So I got this and just like the um, Beauty Blender, you can wet this sponge. You can reuse it. And when I felt the one that was in Kimberly's bag, her personal one, it's not like... Um, the ones that you would get from Target. Let me take one out just so you can see. And I could do this blindfolded and be able to tell you which one is which. Not just because it looks smaller, the one from uh, Target. And of course, this goes for all brands. These are very similar. They're both uh, latex-free foaming sponges or wedges. So, you know, it's not the latex-free piece that makes this more superior uh, than this sponge because they're both latex-free. Anywho, so it's not just the size that would allow me to tell the difference between the two because when they're wet, they both expand. This one, of course, because it's starting out smaller, not as much. It won't expand to the size of this one when it's wet, but they both expand. I attempted to put on foundation with this, you know, when I first got it. This is the Alcone one. Earth's Perfection. It was like putting it on with the Beauty Blender. So I said, okay, great. I already am sold for the fact that it's doing the same thing that the Beauty Blender would do. And instead of having, you know, the Beauty Blender has the little, I know this one needs to be clean. <laughs> it has a little point where you can kind of go in corners and things like that. And the wider round bottom where you can blend out larger areas. You can essentially do the same thing with this. You can use kind of these flat edges to go into corners and tight spaces. So for me, I wasn't pressed with the difference in the shape. Totally fine with me. The fact that you can also wash this and reuse it is another plus because then I'm only spending $2.50 for eight in a pack and and I can reuse it just like I can reuse this one and of course neither one of these sponges will last forever these are sponges these even if you look right here you can see it's a bit degraded with my beauty blender so this one is going to be out the door soon but at least you can reuse it a couple of times a, a good amount of times this I don't even feel pressed 
to keep it as long as I would keep my beauty blender sponge because I'm spending $2.50 for a pack of eight. So it's roughly like what 30 something cents for each one. So if I don't even feel like cleaning it after I've, you know, used it a couple times, I can chuck it, which I have done with some of them. And that's just fine. If it feels too stressful to clean it, chuck it. Um, but it's best to clean it, I found, like right after you use it. But sometimes you just don't have time. And then you can still clean it afterwards. I'm just saying to get it back to this kind of pristine white appearance of the original sponge. Um, so anyway, this is a sponge that I love so much, $2.50 per pack. You may be able to find it in some professional kind of makeup stores, or you can just look for it online because I saw it. They are priced the same way too. They only gave us a 50 cent uh, discount at the makeup show. But anyway, to compare it with the one that you would get from Target, it was like the makeup, the foundation when it was wet wasn't even allowing it to sit on my face and to set. It was like just moving. Every time I moved the sponge, it would move with me. It was blotchy. It was not giving me a perfect uh, application. Didn't like this at all. If anything, you can use this dry to put on your foundation. But then again, you don't get the versatility of using it wet as you would with... Now, maybe with certain foundations, it would work well wet. But I would need it to work with every foundation wet because maybe I just feel like having my foundation set in such a way where it looks the way it would look if I set it with a wet beauty blender. And there is a difference, in my opinion, in the way my foundation looks when I use a wet sponge versus a dry sponge. And sometimes I just want that kind of almost shiny but dry look that I get when it's I use a wet sponge and I cannot achieve that with this this is not the same and for this pack of 32 from Target up and up brand I must have paid about three dollars maybe a little less it's probably two and change for 32 of them but so not worth it if it can only be used when dry if used in its best state when dry um they say on the back that you can certainly wet it and stuff like that i'm just telling you when it comes to the performance was not the same would never purchase this again these were just the things that i oh and i tried to clean it i had foundation on and i said okay let me see if these are at least reusable let me try and clean them and do they say that they're reusable i, I don't know if um they mentioned on here because I didn't read it whether or not that these are reusable but I tried to wash them and the foundation was not coming out for anything so these will not be repurchased but they can serve its purpose if you're just trying to do a quick thing and dispose of it but these alcone sponges this is it for me I don't even feel compelled to buy more beauty blender sponges so that's it you can check for it online or uh, you know if you have a professional makeup store by you okay the next thing that I need to talk to you about quickly if you follow me on instagram you already know that black up cosmetics will be coming to sephora so they'll be coming on september 1st to sephora online and then on the 10th is it the 10th or some date in september um still early september they'll be coming to 10 stores so okay so you can either swatch them and find them um in person or check for them online at the makeup show, and I probably would not have purchased this from the website if I had not gone to the show, this is their Sublime Powder. And you buy this highlighting powder. This is the packaging. This is what it looks like. Not based on, you know, oh, I want the golden shimmer or I want that color. You do it based on your undertone, your complexion. So the lady was there. She matched me. She thought that number three would be best for me. This is the highlighter that I left with. It is super fine, pressed so well you see the word up right there this is oh, look at the, oh. oh let me see if I can I did bring a brush I thought I did let's see if we can because I don't have anything on right now let me see if I can just do that thing so you could see it there maybe it's not showing up so well and never mind this lipstick it's not it looks ashy as I'm looking at it right now in the viewfinder but when I sit back here and go like that see how it looks less ashy that's what it looks like in just regular natural lighting i guess when i come closer and it's pulling in the light from outside it looks um extra ashy but let me try and put this mm, this is number three again sublime oh, i know you can see it and that's certainly not blended well but i just <laughs> wanted you to see and when i try to take pictures to put it on uh instagram it just never i can never catch the right lighting so that it shows up well mm, I don't even know if it's doing it here let me just try oh but you can kind of see that shimmer right there look at that <laughs> okay now I know that looks crazy but for a person who knows to, how to highlight well 
Uh, and she had put it like all around my forehead. Just gave me this really beachy kind of sun-kissed look. It was so nice what she did. Um, clearly, I'm not recreating it now, but I just wanted you to get an idea of what this, and you can see it best, I guess, on my nose, like front and center, what that highlight looks like. And again, this is number three. They have other shades. You did see it on my finger, too. This is it on my hand. Really lovely, and it's super fine. Like, the, the powder, this formula is super, super fine. It's not like you're going to have, like, grains on your face or any granules as it starts as your makeup like starts to disappear throughout the day you're not going to see like little chunky flecks or sparkles or glitter on your face it's like pressed so fine there is no glitter there are no sparkles it's just like highlight <laughs> it's weird that it works so well but it really does also at the makeup show you know i just had to re-up on that black up cream foundation that i like i use number 13 I have noticed a, a difference. I may need to change shades because in the past this never um, oxidized on me. But now I'm noticing and maybe this is like a new formula or something. But I am experiencing some oxidation with number 13. So when it comes to the stores I may just have to color match and go down the shade if they're all going to be oxidizing. So anyway we'll see. And the last thing that I got at the makeup show that I would want to discuss with you. I think I got some other things but those were just like refills whatever. I didn't pick up too much. Next year I'm going to plan very well and be at the makeup show and know which counters I want to hit that day just in general not at the makeup show but just in general it was just too rushed for me and I didn't get to spend the time there that I wanted to and then maybe I can say it in advance and we'll see each other there and then I can remain attached to you too and go to counters and we can uh, just explore. Anyway, uh, Bioderma is the other thing that I picked up there. Now, lots of people love Bioderma as a makeup remover. Um, some people also use it as a toner for the face. I have used it as both. Here's my, I guess, the long and short of Bioderma. I bought a bunch more of these after the makeup show because I got a coupon code there um, to purchase from like Beautylish, I think it was. Beautylish, yeah. Uh, some online kind of boutique. And I got some discount codes to get more of this at a reduced price. So I got not only this size, but I got the largest size that's available too. I've already finished one whole jar of the, the large bottle and one of this size as well. And I'm on a, another large bottle now that's almost done. And I have some more to go through. Here's what I want to say. The best makeup remover I ever used? Absolutely not. Right? So, um, because I had some things that were... Remember, I don't wear waterproof mascara. Uh, I only use the regular mascara. And it takes a lot of this... I shouldn't say a lot because that makes you feel like I'm using half the bottle. I'm not. I'm just saying I have to use multiple applications of this on a cotton sponge to try and get that mascara off. And it's not even waterproof mascara. If I'm good, I can use the right facial soap and that can cleanse it off just like that. So the fact that this is labeled as a... make That was not a smooth transition. Okay, that was better. <laughs> I can use... Um, a regular cleanser, facial cleanser, and get that off. So the fact that this is labeled as a makeup remover and yet it does not remove my non-waterproof mascara uh, easily, maybe in one or two swipes, this is not the best makeup remover ever. So you may say, why did you buy more from Beautylish? Because I think this is a fantastic toner, kind of. Oh, okay, so let's say your face is clean or you don't have an issue with whatever mascara you use and you take everything off and you have no more makeup on they say sorry they say you don't have to wash your face with a cleanser you can just go straight to bed now I'm a little skeptical of those things but I did try it um, one day just to not wash my face immediately I ended up washing my face before I went to bed but just not washing my face immediately just using this taking the makeup off and seeing how my face looked it has this balance tighten but not tight it does not feel tight at all just clean glowy it just looks really really good this is like the kind of thing I think you can use on your face as a toner and like go out 
for the day put on some lip gloss it's really good it does remove like right now I'm wearing a one of those matte lipsticks that lots of people say it's hard to take off it can take um, those off rather well again not in one swipe you may get some like over here on the top of your lip and stuff like that but so as a makeup remover on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being the best makeup remover I've ever used I would say this is like a 7 like it's okay it's probably better than like your cheap average makeup remover but it's not amazing but also it's um, you know paraben free and other things like that so it's good that this is a nice little healthy makeup remover that you can use for your face but it's just a little above average um, in terms of the makeup remover capabilities of this particular product but when it comes to it being a toner the only thing that I've tried as a facial toner well two that I would say are comparable to this or even better than this but you know this can hold its own would be the one from sensational soaps I think I spoke about that somewhere maybe online or something um, that toner as well as the toner from uh, Mario Badescu the the one that's brown I'll put the name of it somewhere here so those are the only two toners that I think are like better or as good as this as a toner but since this is really marketed as a makeup remover it's better than average but as a toner I like it <laughs> so these are some of the items that I picked up at the makeup show um, I know I'm way late on even talking about the makeup show but someone asked me about the sponges that I referenced previously so I want to do that here I know I still have to do my Amope video even though the summer is almost over but that's the little device that you can use to scrape the dead skin off of your feet and you want to review on that so I'm definitely going to do that that should be the next video if not the next video the one right after that because I am going to do some liquid lipstick uh, swatches because I have some from Colourpop I have some from Milani and this one from Colored Rain which you probably already know which color this one is but uh, we will talk soon I hope you're all doing well thank you to the new subscribers thanks to everyone who remain subscribed I appreciate you more videos to come